Bolton. Alderman Bolton. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to call the order of the Waukegan City Council's uh, spe uh, pu Special Public Works and Infrastructure Committee meeting. Uh, the time is 6.35. And if I can have a roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Here. Alderman Seeger. Present. Alderman Bolton. Present. Alderman Kirkwood. Present. Alderman Newsom. Present. Thank you all very much. Uh, so, uh, item B, uh, approval of minutes. Can I have a motion to approve the Public Works and Infrastructure Committee minutes of uh, February 21st, 2023 as presented? So moved. Second. Motion by Newsom, second by Kirkwood. Thank you, lady. Thank you, gentlemen. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion is approved. Item C, audience time. Is there any member of the audience that would like to address this committee regards <coughs> items on this, this committee's agenda? One once, twice. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there is no, no old business. Moving to new business, item A. I'd like a motion for a resolution approving and authorizing the proper city officials to, to approve a resolution for change order number three with air con refrigeration and heating for an amount of $18,820. The contract for the HVAC upgrades for City Hall and Public Works was awarded by the City Council on June 20th, 2022, and change order number one being approved on September 6th of 2022 for the replacement of isolation valves and change order number two on December 19th, 2022 for, control, for the control panels. It has been suggested to the city to replace the ethylene glycol, which is currently in the system, to propylene <laughs> a glycol as it is not eco-friendly. That would be the ethylene gl glycol is not eco-friendly. The original contract was awarded in the amount of $2,290,768, with change order number one being $52,412, and change order number two being $33,067, and with change order three, number three, for $18,820, it brings the new total to $2,395,067. We have a motion. Move. Motion by Alderman Newsom. Second. Second by Alderman Bolson, Bolton. Questions, comments? Roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Seeger. Aye. Alderman Bolton. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion passes. Item B, if I may, I would like an all, a resolution approving and authorizing the proper city officials to approve, a, to approve a resolution for spending authority in excess of $25,000 per section 2-458 subsection I subsection 7 is a good faith, is a good faith waiver with water products of Aurora for a not to exceed amount of $50,000. The water, park, water department is requesting to spend in excess of $25,000 with water products of Aurora from a, for an amount not to exceed $50,000 for emergency repair parts and equipment for water mains, hydrants, et cetera. It is difficult to know the exact parts needed for repairs and emergencies until the repairs are performed. Due to the rising costs and shortages, it is anticipated that the water department will spend $50,000 with water products. Funds will be charged to line item 555-915-525-468. May I have a motion? Oh. motion? I'm sorry, motion by Newsom on second by, any seconds? I second. Second by Bolton, Alderman Bolton. And questions and comments? All right, thank you. Roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Seeger. 
Alderman Bolton. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Motion passes. Item C. It asks for a motion for resolution approving and authorizing the proper city official, officials to approve a resolution for a QBS policy for when, city when the city receives federal funds for consultant engineering services. When the city of Waukegan receives federal funds for consultant engineering services, the city will follow the procedure set forth in this consultant qualification-based selection process, that's the QBS policy, which meets the requirements of 23 CFR 172 and the Brooks Act, uh, 40 USC uh, chapter 1101, et cetera. Uh, this QBS policy, as adopted by the city, substantially conforms to the requirements of Section 5-5 of the Illinois Department of Transportation, IDOT, the Bureau of Local Roads and Streets, BLRS, manual, and specifically Section 5-5.06, subsection E, and therefore separate approval from IDOT is not required. May I have a motion? Motion by Alderman Kirkwood. Second by Seager. Alderman Seeger. Thank you. Any questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Seeger. Aye. Alderman Bolton. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Item D. I'd uh, request, a res uh, request a motion to approve a resolution approving and authorizing the proper city officials to enter into a contract with Office Plus for the purchase of office furniture for public works and engineering per section 2-458 subsection I subsec subsection 3 uh, joint uh, subsection joint purchasing for not to exceed amount of $59,253.21. May I have that motion? So moved. Motion by Alderman Newsom. Second. Second by Alderman Kirkwood. Questions? Comments? Yes, sir. Sure. Office furniture, yes. Remember, uh, wasn't long ago we approved the purchase and installation of uh, new cubicles? Now we got to put furniture in there. All right. Any other questions? Roll call, please. Alderman Turner. Aye. Alderman Seeger. Aye. Alderman Bolton. Aye. Alderman Kirkwood. Aye. Alderman Newsom. Aye. It's a wrap for new business. Thank you all very much. Reports and communications. Uh, we don't have anything on the agenda, but I'm going to throw the ball over to uh, Director uh, Garland. Director, can you just. With the weather warming up, we're in the mid 40s, and it looks like the forecast is going to be mid 40s for the next several weeks. What are we going to do about the potholes? Where are we at? Any planning or act activities pothole related? Uh, basically, what we're what we're doing now, what we've uh, done in the past is we would have like several odd crews go out, and uh, we would do our corridor streets first, our main streets first, right, and then we will proceed into our side streets. Okay. So as the weather permits and it allows us to do it then that's, that's our plan. Okay, and you're basically following the same snowplow route. Correct. Got it. Okay. Um, and then, uh, I don't know if it's, if it's too early to tell, but is there a plan to do spot patching as opposed to pothole patching? Doing the yes. big sections? You're going to do plans. Yep. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right. Anybody have any questions around potholes? All right. Uh, so, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. Yes, I mean, so do we have a plan of how we're going to direct what streets as far as, you know, potholes, especially down Washington Street, mm -hmm. you know, you still got to drive almost in the middle mm -hmm. to not tear up your vehicle. So, and I know we've done it before, but with the weather, you know, it's cold, it's snow, it popped back out, but Washington Street is just terrible and it runs through three different wards. And it's just terrible from Green Bay mm -hmm. all the way down to the cul-de-sac on a park where it collapsed a couple of years ago. So we need to 
kind of address that until we get uh, the necessary funds to, from the state or federal government to resurface that whole area. Yep. Yes, that's part of my plan too. Okay. okay cool. I have one question. Whoop, 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 whoop. Go ahead. Edie, and then. Aren't there plans whoop. already to have Washington done this year? Yeah. Aren't we supposed to be doing Washington Street this year? Washington Street corridor? I, that's like toward like the, the east end of there, so, but not in what they're talking about. Oh, okay. Okay, and Alderman Bolton, you had a question? Yes, you know, uh, the sub not getting off the subject, but kind of on the subject, I get a lot of complaints about the streets are just filling the potholes. Is there a schedule or a timeline for that the whole street to be maybe blocks, you know, repaved? You know, are they, you if they address that question at our public meeting. So yeah, the re uh, if you could backtrack and give clarity to that. Yeah, the resurfacing. So you'll recall that we had a plan to resurface numerous streets, several in each ward, and then we were mandated by the federal government to do certain lead pipe remediation, so we kind of took a step back to evaluate where the lead pipe is going to be remediated so that we're not resurfacing a street, then tearing it up to replace the pipe, and then, you know, so that kind of played a role in uh, schedule adjustment, if you will. Right, so now what we're doing now to address the annual pothole crisis, as Chris just mentioned, we're coming through ba basically following the same snow plow route. You know, when we plow the snow, right? That's how they're coming through looking for potholes and patching potholes. But they are also doing beyond that, which I asked, the spot patching, which is where they take a larger section, right? So if you have any streets in your wards, communicate to the director, communicate to me, or Art, the superintendent, hey, I, this street, these particular streets need some attention. And they can always go out there. If you got, like I hit, I saw one in my ward today, this morning is, I don't, it, it developed overnight. I mean, it's huge. So <laughs> that's, that's something that they can give immediate attention to, but also note, they can't, they can't be efficient if, if they have to keep stopping from their plan to go and do like 50, patches so. all right we're going to call that a wrap oh last so question i didn't know if mr garland if you could elaborate as well thank you alderman turner uh pretty much what he pretty much what he said you know so he, he took he took the words correctly um okay it, it's kind of hard trying to you know it's, it's the challenge trying to stay ahead you know i mean with the weather going up and down right. um and you know you're having guys off, and you have to pull from different departments. So, but we are on top of it. Okay, Alderman Kirkwood. So, how do we prioritize those streets throughout the city in order to get them done? Whether it's Washington Street, whether it's McAllister, you know, whether it's Messina, how do we prioritize where we go first? Or second or third. So, so the major thoroughfares have the priority. Washington Street, Jackson Street, Lewis, those the big streets are gonna have priority, right? And then the side streets, that's where they're gonna follow the snowplow route. Okay. Right. Correct. And also the way we prioritize is let's say Alderman Bolton called in for a street to get repaired. And the last that the crew was out was over in the fourth ward. Well, she just called in as a, a constituent, so we have to do that ticket first, and then they go back and they finish where they left off at from if they were in the fourth ward. So that's that kind of. That's why I say you, if you if you just keep calling them, keep calling them every day. You're saying, hey, come over here. This is going to interfere with the plan, so we have to allow them to. Uh, to move with efficiency, okay? okay All right, thank and you. before that, no more questions, but I do want to make a statement because you just mentioned something, Chris, about people taking time off. So remember, during the winter months, Public Works does not take time off at all, period. Right. The only way they get time off is if they come directly to Chris Garden, director, and say, Mr. Director, can I please take some time off? And he gives it to him in writing, okay? Other than that, 
They are they can't take time off during the winter, and so everybody at Public Works takes time off during the summer, and therefore they, they're constantly playing resource adjustment games. The, the tree the tree guys, the tree cutting guys, they have to go pitch, cut patch pot, patch potholes. The pothole guys, they now have to go cover and dig a hole and fix the sewer. So it's it's a constant readjustment, reallocation of resources, and that's just the way. It has to be because when the snow falls, all hands on deck all hands until on deck. it's scraped up. All right. Okay. Uh, I'd like a motion to adjourn. Motion by Alderman Newsom, Alderman Second by Alderman Kirkwood. All in favor?